Okay, you gotta take breaths, and you need to take spaces in between your words. I, the whole sentences are hard. I, 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 I. This is how Tori talks. She goes, "Hey, do you think we? Maybe? If, would you hand me my?" Okay, we get it. We get it. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let's fix it. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Hi, I'm Garrett. I'm Tori. And today we're gonna show you how to organize a closet. DIY! Not really a DIY, we're not doing a DIY. D-I-T, do it together. Do it together! Dit. We've had this closet for a while, we hated the doors, so I took the doors off and it's just been a kind of open space. We wanted to show you guys how we're gonna organize our closet, what things we'll buy to organize it, to just make it very clean and clutter free because as you can see, it's not that bad, but I think we can do better. We got some percent off at Bed Bath & Beyond, so we're gonna go to Bed Bath & Beyond, try to get some organizers and something to cover the closet. Maybe we'll find new hampers today. Maybe a better shoe rack? Or we could maybe put something here. Obviously we're still just gonna figure it out and kinda wing it. I mainly have just been working on this toothpick today, trying to get some of this bok choy out of my teeth. Hopefully it helps you to get some ideas to organize your own. So, let's go! I got a wallet. Garrett doesn't believe in having socks that don't let your toes be free. Well, everyone else is wearing feet mittens. I'm wearing feet gloves, so y'all are just behind the times. We're going to Bed Bath & Beyond, and you know what, Tor? This. Bath and be gone. It's okay, we have each other. Do it together. The associates told me last time I was here that it is the largest one west of Chicago. It's like the Bed Bath and Beyonce of Bed Bath and Beyond. It's like the Mac Daddy of Bed Bath and Beyond. I found some organizer stuff. Ooh, what's this happy? That might be how we fix it and get you a lot more room. We should have measured. If we were smart, we would have measured. We didn't measure. But hey, life's about winging it, right? Yeah. Being in the moment and winging it. How tall is our closet? It's tall. Huh? Taller tall. than you. So they didn't have what we needed at the Bed Bath & Beyond, so now we gotta go to Ikea and look for drapes. You sure you don't wanna go home first? I don't wanna go home because then I won't wanna leave. Fast forward to the future. Welcome to Ikea. I feel like I'm in a big seashell. <laughs> and it rocks. I'll meet you down there, cart. Ikea's lines are long. Woof. We're back, back from Ikea. What do we get, Tor? Stuff. Organizational stuff. So we're gonna just probably speed this up, we move some things around, do some shaking, and see what we can muster. Okay. Let's do this. mount for these hats. So it has these little clippies all the way down and you put your hat at the top of them. Now we have a whole row of hats and it saves you a lot of space. Another thing we did was we put cubby space on the back wall since the back wall didn't have anything hanging on it. She's got some shoes back here, she's got a purse hanging, a little bag for the gym, and it's hidden. These little hangers, you can hang multiple things on them. I took one and I hung all of my scarves. Before I had all of these scarves folded and in here, and it was just a hot mess. Really good spin move. We got new laundry baskets. However, when we were <laughs> leaving Ikea, one of them fell out of the cart, apparently. So we just got one, but we wanted to go with the tall ones, so that way you don't waste space by having baskets like this that are more bulky. Stupid Ikea carts losing our items. Every time, you know, someone gives me a nice note, I always feel bad throwing it away, and I never really knew where to put them, but I got a solution. I put all the stuff that people give me that I like behind my clothes. Oh, that's for me. Does that one say the force is strong with us? All of my hats used to go right here, and we had a shoe rack over here. We moved it up, and now we have all of these shoes, and we're using the whole rack. And when I say we, I'm, I mean mostly me. I like shoes. At first we were gonna get rid of this thing, but we realized that having cubbies here actually utilizes a lot of space. Cubbies! Cubbies! I also use hangers like these for all of my skirts. And you like them. They're the best. We're gonna hang a curtain rod. Ow! 
Oh, I'm sorry to hit you. <laughs> Freddy Cougar, okay. <laughs> vroom, vroom, vroom. That's not Freddy Cougar. Freddy yeah. Cougar has the Oh, what is it, Jason with the yeah. chainsaw? <laughs> Finished. We got curtains. But more importantly, what's behind the curtain? It's always what's behind the curtain. So behind our curtains, we've got a closet. Tor got more shoe room. I got more clothing room. And also, the new laundry basket looks pretty nice down here. Too bad it's not new laundry baskets. We hope you found this video helpful and it gave you some ideas on how to organize your closet. And if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you like this video, give it any type of finger up. Except for this that finger. Don't give it No, that. don't give that finger. Ooh, you flipped off the camera. We're sorry. We love you. Thank you for watching. Jinkin' kin jinkin'. Bingy blanca. Happy midnight on Saturday. We have one closet for two people. And an armoire. And an armoire. But only for uh, two people is the closet. The armoire is only for one person. It was a long night though.